It may be industry driven, it may be surgeon driven, and maybe it is sometimes professional driven. This is a fracture, goes with plating. This acromion is, acromion is fixed here, sorry, coracoid is fixed here. Again, this is a dislocation, no. This is a thing to be understood. Many a times you see uh, there is increased impingement gap when you see the fracture first. This increased impingement gap is not due to subluxation, but initial muscle atonia of supraspinatus and infraspinatus for the three weeks. So one should not get carried away that there is a subluxation. And this is muscle atonia. We go to the fracture by different approaches, fix it, this tool should be longer. There is a lateral to toward splitting approach. The only problem is the axillary nerve, which is just 5 cm below the tip of the acromion. Take care of it, and you can do a good reconstruction with pretty good result. Use the plate with Put the plate. The important thing is that we must see whether the plate is going to impinge on the acromion or not. There should be a gap of 2 centimeters here. These small details, technical details, can save you from many complications. Here it was done by somebody else came to me, left me also, but I advised him hemiarthroplasty. And finally, the few cases where we need arthroplasty. Indications of arthroplasty are severely comminuted displaced fractures or fracture dislocations or head splitting fractures, impaction fractures, osteoporotic bones, vascular compromise or motivated patients. The contraindications are active infection, young patients, Consider fixation, rotator cuff paralysis, and patients unable to undergo rehabilitation for medical or psychological reasons. Pitfalls. It is technically challenging, and there is loss of reference point. The key to success is preserving deltoid origin, restoring correct height, retroversion of the head by 30 to 40 degrees, and avoid overstuffing. You can see the head, you can see the replacement. Again, it is a non-viable head, see the replacement. So you do a pre-op planning by x-rays, by CT, by 3D reconstruction. You go for anatomical landmarks, which is again a technical detail, 5 cm from this place, 30 degrees from that point. But the thing is that you have to use an implant, and this is a third generation implant, which is very good for the tumor replacement. The offset is now a great innovation which helps the patient to achieve a real good result. Surgical technique, again the position, the approach which, have, which I have already shown to you. These are pictorial presentation. The surgical technique, remove the lesser tuberosity, go inside fix it, reconstruct the tuberosity, which is very, very important because many times the total result depends on the reconstruction of tuberosities. And finally, it is seated in. Lateral view. Here you can see some heterotopic ossification. This is also a complication of any prosthesis. The heterotopic ossification should be excised if it is interfering with the humeral hip movement. This is the reconstruction of trochanter. This is head within the head, this is split head, again replaced. So, there is a post-op plan. Initially, three weeks the patients are immobilized and then active muscle building is done. There are many complications. 
as you can see it is a technical stuff so i am not going into the detail of all those things so finally as you can see there is something known as reverse geometry shoulder arthroplasty a word of it salvage operation for failed heavy arthroplasty or even malunions being used for the management of fresh fractures but very early days in long term results are unknown so complications of proximal fibrous fractures are malunion non union osteonecrosis infection or post traumatic shoulder stiffness